Hello students, welcome back to Zoology online class. I hope you watched the last video and let us move on to today's session. Before we move to the class, just we can do one review regarding the previous class. So in the last class, we discussed about the structure of human heart and working of human heart. Today we are going to learn about blood and its components. So listen carefully. Let's enter into the topic. We all know about blood. Blood is the main circulatory medium in the human body and delivers essential substances like oxygen and nutrients to the body cells. It also transports metabolic waste products away from those same cells. There is no substitute for blood. It cannot be made or manufactured. It is a red colored fluid connective tissue. Right? Composition of blood. The blood consists of two main components. Two main components. They are formed elements and plasma. Formed elements and plasma. This plasma is the liquid part. So liquid part is known as plasma. And the formed elements are blood cells. Blood cells are known as formed elements. So these formed elements are suspended in plasma. Suspended means floating. So formed elements or blood cells are uh, floating in the plasma. Now you see here the yellow color area that is plasma that is a liquid part. So uh, that uh, blood cells are suspended or floating in the plasma. What are the blood cells, platelets, erythrocytes and leukocytes? They are known as uh, formed elements. So these formed elements are suspended in the plasma. So three types of formed elements are there. They are platelets, erythrocytes and leukocytes. Uh, so this plasma is a liquid part yellow color liquid area is known as plasma got it plasma this plasma is a fluid part just you see this test tube here 55 percentage of total blood is plasma so 55 percentage that is plasma uh, here clearly it is mentioned yellow color area then 1 percentage that is leukocytes and platelets leukocytes and platelets 1 percentage okay remaining 45 percentage of the blood is erythrocytes or red blood cells understand children so 55 percentage of total blood is plasma 1 percentage is leukocytes and platelets remaining 45 percentage is uh, erythrocytes okay now we can see about plasma Plasma is slightly alkaline in nature and it contains non-cellular substance. It contains non-cellular substance and this plasma constitutes about 55% of total blood. Then organic substances like proteins, glucose, urea, enzymes, hormones, vitamins and minerals are present in the plasma. So what are the organic substances are present in the plasma? Proteins, glucose, urea, enzymes, hormones, vitamins and minerals. These are the organic substances or present in the plasma. So it is alkaline in nature. It constitutes 55 percentage of total blood. Erythrocytes or RBC. These RBCs are the most abundant cells in the human body. These RBCs are formed in the bone marrow. Uh, this RBC, the sh shape of the RBC is biconcave and disc shaped. The lifespan is 120 days. Then the function of RBC is uh, transport of oxygen from lungs to tissues. Then one important point, the RBCs impart red color uh, to the blood due to the presence of respiratory pigment hemoglobin. Because of that, the blood is red in color. Then the matured mammalian RBCs do not have cell organelles at nucleus. Got it? Matured mammalian RBCs do not have cell organelles at nucleus. What's the lifespan of RBC? 120 days. Then the shape biconcave and disc. Then RBCs are formed in the bone marrow. Right? White blood cells. White blood cells are leukocytes. These white blood cells are colorless. 
they don't have any color they do not have hemoglobin and or nucleated cells these cells uh, do not have hemoglobin hemoglobin is a red pigment red color pigment is it? so it is not present in the white blood cells and these cells are nucleated cells then this WBCs are found in the bone marrow, spleen, thymus and lymph nodes. Right? Then this WBC or leukocytes are classified into two types, granulocytes and agranulocytes. What are the two types of white blood corpuscles? Granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes means they contain granules in their cytoplasm. Granules are present in the cytoplasm, so it is known as granulocytes. A granulocytes, absence of granules. Granules are not found in the cytoplasm, so it is known as A granulocytes. These granulocytes are again categorized into three types. They are basophil, neutrophil, and eosinophil. What are the three types? Basophil, neutrophil, and eosinophil. This A granulocytes are again categorized into two types. They are monocyte and lymphocyte. What are the two types? Monocyte and lymphocyte. One by one, let's see now. Neutrophils. This is a neutrophil. These neutrophils are large in size and have two to seven lobed nucleus. So neutrophils are large in size and they have two to seven lobed nucleus. This uh, neutrophil have three lobes. One, two, three. Three lobes are present. Some neutrophils have four, some have five, six like that. Okay. So these corpuscles or these neutrophils form 60 percentage to 65 percentage of the total leukocytes. Then function. What is the function? So this uh, neutrophils numbers are increased during infection and inflammation. So during the infection time or inflammation time, uh, the neutrophils number increased. The next one is eosinophils. Second one is eosinophils. It has a bilobed nucleus on and form 2 percentage to 3 percentage of the total uh, leukocytes. So uh, these eosinophils have bilobed nucleus. Bi means 2. So 2 lobes are present. 1, 2. 2 lobes are present. So they constitute 2 percentage to 3 percentage of the total leukocytes. This eosinophils number increases during the conditions of allergy and parasitic infections. Only this is this uh, two situations the number will be increased. It brings about detoxification of toxins. Then third one is basophils. This is a basophil. This basophils have lobed nucleus, a single lobe, okay, only one lobe, so lobed nucleus. They form 0.5 to 1 percentage of the total leukocytes. This uh, uh, basophils release chemicals during the process of inflammation. So during the process of inflammation, this basophils release chemicals. So these are the three types. What are the three types? Neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. These are the two types of A granulocytes. A granulocytes means granules are not found in the cytoplasm. So that is known as A granulocytes. Two types, monocyte and lymphocyte. Monocyte and lymphocyte. Monocyte. This monocyte are the largest of the leukocytes and are amoeboid in shape. So this monocyte are the largest leukocyte and shape is amoeboid shape. Amoeboid in shape means that is indefinite shape. Okay, there is no definite shape. These cells form 5 to 6 uh, percentage of the total leukocytes. 5 to 6 percentage. Then function, phagocytic and can engulf bacteria, swallow the bacteria. Phagocyte can engulf the bacteria or engulf the microorganisms. Next one, lymphocyte. Uh, this is a lymphocyte, right? These are about 20 to 25 percentage of the total leukocytes. 20 to 25 percentage. This lymphocyte produce antibodies during bacterial and viral infections. So during the bacterial infection or viral infection, this lymphocyte produce antibodies. So these are the two types of granulocy A granulocytes. Blood platelets, another name is thrombocytes. Before that, just you see in this uh, diagram. Can you find out the blood cells? Yes. This is RBC or red blood cells. This is WBC or white blood cells. Uh, another name is leukocyte. This is a blood platelet or thrombocyte. Now uh, we are seeing this blood platelets. 
okay so these platelets are small and colorless the blood platelets are small as well as colorless they do not have nucleus and 2 lakhs 50,000 to 4 lakhs platelets are present in 1 cubic mm of blood 2 lakh 50,000 to 4 lakhs then lifespan is 8 to 10 days lifespan 8 to 10 days function prevent blood loss so this uh, platelets blood platelets play an important role in clotting of blood okay so this uh, uh, platelets clot uh, at the site of injury and prevent blood loss functions of blood there are different functions are there but now let's see a few functions first transport of respiratory gases respiratory gases means oxygen and carbon dioxide okay so this blood transport the respiratory gases to different parts of the body then transport of digested food materials uh, it transport the digested food materials to different body cells then transport of hormones transport of excretory products excretory products like ammonia urea and uric acid protection of the body and defense against diseases maintain body temperature maintain water balance so these are the functions of blood let's see one small recap so today what are the topics we have completed components of blood formed elements of blood and functions of blood components of blood two is it plasma and formed elements then formed elements again uh, classified into three rbc wbc blood platelets wbc two types granulocytes and a granulocytes granulocytes again uh, classified into three types uh, what are the three types neutrophils basophils and eosinophils a granulocytes two types monocytes and lymphocytes do you remember okay then third one third uh, formed element blood platelets then last one functions of blood so these are the topics today we have completed evaluation part why are leukocytes classified as granulocytes and a granulocytes name each cell and mention its functions answer first point granulocyte main heading granulocytes granulocytes contain granules in their cytoplasm hence they are called as granulocytes they are of three types neutrophils eosinophils and basophils neutrophils their numbers are increased during infection and inflammation eosinophils their number increases during allergy and parasitic infections basophils they are involved in inflammation number two a granulocytes granules are not found in the cytoplasm hence they are called as a granulocytes they are of two types lymphocytes and monocytes lymphocytes they produce antibodies during infection monocytes they are phagocytic and can engulf bacteria so this answer you write it in your notebook and learn last video also i have given one answer i hope you all have written in the notebook and you have completed you have studied okay so in that notebook this question also you should write it and learn worksheet number two first one what is the shape of rbc in human blood number two why is the color of the human blood red number three what is the lifespan of rbc four name the largest leukocyte 5. Name the three types of blood cells. Number 6. Which kind of cells are found in the lymph? Number 7. What is the lifespan of platelets? Number 8. Matured mammalian RBCs do not have dash and dash. Already I have uh, taught these topics. So, so you know all the answers. So do it carefully and keep it with you.